Hi. The camera's a bit far away today because I'll be doing some standing postures that I want you to be able to see, but welcome. This is Kundalini Yoga and my name is Akasha Kirtikar. Um, go ahead and let's just take a moment to find our seat maybe in a slightly different way. So taking a moment to rock uh, side to side and maybe letting your eyes close and just feeling yourself rooted on the ground. And then maybe rocking forward and back a little bit. Again, just noticing the sensation and feeling yourself rooted on the ground. And then find a nice centered position with your hips slightly elevated and forward. Lengthen through your spine and imagine that there's a little cord here that extends from the tip of your chin down to um, the nape of your neck between your collarbones and just feel yourself sort of shortening that chain so that the chin comes in and back and the crown of your head is up and long. Let your hands rest wherever they're comfortable on your lap and begin long deep breathing. And as you're here breathing, just notice where you feel tension in your body. So perhaps you feel some tension around your stomach. We tend to hold a lot of tension here and sort of suck our bellies in all day. So if you notice that, just let your belly go, let your belly relax. Maybe noticing that your shoulders could be a little bit softer, melting down the back. Maybe noticing if the muscles around your eyes and at your face could be a bit softer. Hands soft. Let the breath be soft and deep. And just keep moving your awareness from noticing what's happening in your body to what's happening around your body and then noticing what's happening in your body and then around your body and whatever you notice just accepting and welcoming all of that and maybe inviting it just to soften if it's internal. Take in your thoughts, maybe they become a little bit gentler. Start to lengthen the, the breath so that you're breathing in a little bit more deeply, exhaling even more completely. And continue to breathe as I explain what our theme for tonight is. Tonight we're going to work on our endocrine system. The endocrine system uh, is a large system, we'll talk more about it, but it's essentially regulating the secretion of hormones throughout your body and helping your body come into homeostasis, so coming into this nice balanced place. And one thing we know is that as we've entered into this new um, era, this new time of being in the history of the world, that the yogis tell us that the old ways of doing things, the old ways of coping with things are no longer going to be effective. And one of the new ways, the new old ways of coping with things is through mantra and through breath work. It's through the things that we're going to do now. And as your, um, your whole endocrine system, your whole hormonal system comes into balance, you'll be able to navigate all of the stressors in your world more easily. So go ahead and rub your hands together and place your hands at the center of your chest, lifting through your chest, pressing the palms of your hands together, letting your eyes close and move up and in toward the space between your eyebrows. 
long, deep breath. And we'll begin with the mantra, Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. This is an important mantra. It means that you're bowing to your own inner wisdom, your own guidance system. So we are never bowing to um, the teacher. We're never bowing to the external teacher. We're not ever bowing to me or any other kundalini yoga teacher or any other kind of yoga. Um, we're never bowing to anything outside of ourselves. We're bowing to our own divinity, our own wisdom. So we're always going to look inward for those answers, for that support, for that guidance. Inhale. Om Namo Guru I got in a med, you got in a med, sat in a med, city Inhale and suspend the breath. Softly. Exhale. Release the hands. Observe the way you feel. Okay, so we'll move into our first Kriya now. The Kriya, or the set of exercises, is called the Pituitary Gland Series. So we'll be working first on the, the pituitary gland as part of the endocrine system. The pituitary gland is associated with your um, intuition or your sixth chakra. And it's also in charge of regulating many, many hormones. So start with your right knee forward in a lunge. And your left leg is back. You can lift the foot here. You can put the knee down on the ground to make sure you have padding if your knee's at all sensitive. You'll arch your head back. And for the first minute here, we'll just do long, deep breathing. You can place your hands on either side of you to give yourself balance and then long, deep breathing. Long deep breathing is deliberate. You're inhaling, starting imagining that you're starting in the lower lobes of the lungs, so your belly will come out first, then you're filling up the sides of the lungs, front and back, and then the top of the lungs. And exhaling from top to bottom, slowly and deliberately. Feel free to put your hands on blocks here to bring yourself up a little bit if that feels more comfortable. Feel free to add padding, bend the toes and lift the knee, make it work for you. Maybe your eyes come up and in. And now begin, maintain the same position, but begin breath of fire. That's rapid inhales and exhales through your nose, powered by your diaphragm.
Concentrate on the feeling of the breath in your nostrils. Movement of the belly. Inhale, suspend the breath, squeeze your root lock. Exhale, now moving into the next posture by putting your knee onto the ground. So you're gonna lie down on top of that front knee with the left leg extended back. If this doesn't work for your knee, you can try putting a cushion in between your body and your knee. You can try staying upright. Um, so whatever works for you, Maybe you're just folding this far, or maybe you're folding all the way down over, over this bent. Try and get your forehead to the ground or to, you know, if you've propped yourself up on something, have it touching um, perhaps a bolster or a block. But you're trying to get your forehead in contact with the ground, which helps to activate this pituitary gland. You'll notice I kind of wedged a little something underneath my right hip to help me maintain my balance in this position. Keep going here. So your pituitary gland is this little sort of pea-sized gland inside your brain. And we often point here when we're talking about pituitary gland to the space in between your eyebrows because it's activated through the optic nerve. Just keep breathing here. It's about 20 more seconds. Inhale, come up. We're gonna switch legs and repeat that, those same two steps. So stretch your legs out if you need to, and then bring your left leg forward into a lunge. Right leg goes back. You can 
have that knee lifted, you can set the knee down on the ground and arch your head back and begin with long, deep breathing. If it bothers your neck, feel free to just have a neutral, neutral gaze here, a neutral spine. And now begin breath of fire, same position. Mental mantra, Satnam, with the breath if you'd like. Inhale, hold the breath, squeeze up on your root block. Exhale, release. And so maybe if your knee is sensitive, you're just staying here and folding kind of forward, letting your neck fall down. Or if it feels comfortable for you, you can come down onto that left knee. Right leg is extended in back of you. Maybe you have a little cushion or something that you can slide over to the underneath your left hip to help for balance. Then you can just lie your torso down on top of your body or on the ground or wherever it lands and baby palms are up or maybe they're elsewhere to help with balance. Long deep breathing. Can you stay centered and focused by noticing the sensation of your breath, the feeling of your body on the ground?
About halfway there, keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, and slowly, gently work your way up, maybe pausing for a moment to shake your legs out in front of you, and then making your way up to a standing position. Begin by inhaling your arms up. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Exhale as you fold forward. And then just let your head and neck hang heavy here. We're just going to hold this position for a few minutes. So you're just staying in this front bend, long, deep breath. And whatever your front bend looks like, that's just great. Just keep your neck nice and loose and soft, shoulders loose and soft. Deliberate, long, deep breath. So our behavior patterns are also regulated in our endocrine system. So when we are doing these things like this long, deep breathing, we're helping to uh, create new patterns, new habits. Every once in a while, maybe shaking your head yes and no, loosening up your neck. Maybe imagining the breath coming from below your feet, up your legs, through your whole body. And if your hamstrings are tight enough that it's keeping you from really relaxing here, then go ahead and just bend those as much as you need to and let yourself just hang. Last 30 seconds here. Okay, 
Okay, inhale. Exhale. Now slowly roll your way up. Find your balance. Notice how you're feeling. And we'll move into a variation of ego eradicator. So curling your fingers into the palms of your hands, thumbs come up. This time we're at 30 degrees. So your arms are open pretty wide here. And we'll just do long, deep breathing. Your eyes can be closed and focused here at the third eye. Long, deep breathing. We're going to start our timer. We'll just be here for three minutes. So we're also strengthening our nervous system when we have our arms out like this. Our nervous system is our um, link to our capacity to be able to handle stress. Really make the most of this breathing time. Observe the breath as it moves through your whole body. Again, maybe imagining the breath coming from below you, down from the ground, and moving all the way up through the crown of your head and back down again. Hands are very active here. Thumbs are really plugged in up to the ceiling. Maybe you're visualizing a color of breath as it moves through your body. Really feeling all the corners of both feet equally on the ground, toes are spread wide. We're always keeping your chin tucked in, like we talked about at the beginning, like there's a little chain connecting the tip of your chin to the nape of your neck that's shortening. So you're shortening the distance between your chin and your throat, lengthening up through the crown of your head. And as you're doing this, you're engaging a slight neck lock. That neck lock is really good for helping to activate those glands. Last few seconds here. Inhale. Bring your thumbs to touch. Lengthen through your fingers. Exhale. Release. Observe how you feel. Okay, coming down onto hands and knees for a triangle pose or down dog, as it's called in other practices. Spread your fingers wide. Index fingers pointed toward the front of your mat. Turn your toes under, press your hips up. And your chest moves back toward your legs. Pressing through the palms of your hands. Ears are in alignment with your triceps, with your upper arms. Long, deep breathing. If you ever need to rest, you can come down onto your knees into a puppy pose, extending your arms out in front of you, leaving your hips lifted, and bringing your forehead to the ground. 
might feel good to kind of bicycle your feet up and down, stretching through your calves and your toes can, or your heels rather, can stay a little bit lifted here. They don't need to come all the way to the ground. Everybody's body is built differently. This is a great posture for strengthening lots of muscle groups as well as working on that endocrine system. Again, the breath is long, deep, and deliberate. Really notice the way that it feels. We're going to be here for one more minute. Make the legs strong, engage your quadriceps. Inhale, exhale. Now go ahead and lower your way down to your stomach or you'll just relax on your stomach for one minute. You put your head to either side or put your forehead onto the ground. Just completely relax here. Maybe even a sigh out of the mouth. If you've got one ear on the mat, switch so that the opposite ear is on the ground. Okay, now placing your hands under your shoulders and coming, pressing up into cobra. Shoulders come down away from the ears. You can come onto your elbows here for sphinx pose also. You'll arch your head and neck back as much as, you, as feels comfortable and long deep breathing. You're engaging your belly so that your belly is lifting a little bit off of the ground. Really notice the sensation, the way that your Stomach feels as it presses into the ground on the inhale and the way that it lifts away on the exhale.
Now maintaining your position either in Sphinx Pose or in Cobra, and inhale as you look left, exhale as you look right. So now we're moving into engaging our thyroid and parathyroid, which are also part of that endocrine system. Head is still arched back. Thirty more seconds here. Come center, inhale. Exhale, hold the breath empty, squeeze up on Mulban, root lock. Two more times, inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Lower yourself back down to your belly. Rest for just a moment here. Then gradually make your way up to your knees. Sitting either directly on your knees or on a cushion in between your body and your legs. Open your legs wide here and you'll bring your forehead to the ground on the exhale. Arms are stretched out in front of you. On the inhale, you'll stretch your arms up like you're opening up like a flower. A nice stretch through the chest and the upper arms. And then exhale back down. This bowing motion is connected with opening up that pituitary gland. If you like, you can come all the way up onto your knees or you can just open, staying on your knees. Deep breath. You can always put a cushion, a pillow, a block here under your head to make the ground come a little bit closer to you. Let this be a fluid motion. Eyes are closed, feeling into your body.
This can be as slow or as fast as feels good. Okay, on your next time, come all the way down. You can bring your knees slightly more together or leave them spread wide. Bring your forehead to the ground or onto a block or bolster or pillow. Interlace your fingers behind your back and lift your arms up just as high as they'll go. So that might be just a few inches away from your back. It might be up a little bit higher. From here, long, deep breathing. Maybe your arms can come up just a little bit higher now, that they're a little bit looser, maybe not. About 30 more seconds here. Slowly lower your arms, come on back up to seated, release your hands, notice the way you feel. Might be a little bit of dizziness.
And now make your way onto your back for Shavasana. Lying down, palms up to the sides of your body. Eyes closed, breath normal. And Shavasana is really important for the glandular system and the nervous system. You're integrating all of the effects of the postures we've just done, moving into your parasympathetic nervous system and finding that homeostasis. So just breathing here, relaxing for a moment in Shavasana, I'm just adjusting our camera. Just feel yourself letting go of all those muscle groups that we've worked. Feel your body relaxing, softening into the ground. Just what if in this moment there is that balance? Hormonal balance, harmony. Feel into that.
Begin to deepen your breath. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle your hands on your wrists and your feet on your ankles. Stretch your arms overhead, legs out long. Now stretching your arms to the sides in a T. Draw one knee into your chest and then pull it across your body, opening up the opposite arm and looking out over those fingers for a twist. And now twisting to the opposite side. Coming back to center, rubbing the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet together. Grasping the front of your shins and rocking and rolling on your spine a few times to come to a seated position. Again, elevating your hips a little bit on a bolster or cushion. From here, we'll do a short Kriya and then move into an even shorter meditation to close. So the Kriya is called Commanding the Command Center of the Glandular System. So the command center, the master gland, the pituitary gland that regulates so many other glands is going to be targeted with this. So for this one, what you'll do first is extend your right arm straight out in front of you, palm is down. Your left arm comes up. Your fingers make a straight line from the, the root of your nose and between your um, eyebrows all the way up to your hairline. So you're making a straight line here. Then you'll close your eyes, inhale, and you'll pump your navel and let the breath, it might move like a breath of fire, it might not. Let the breath just do what it will here. And what we're doing is clearing your subconscious mind. So you're just pumping your navel and you're pumping your navel hard enough that your body is shaking. So the breath is just gonna come and go. For me, it starts to sound like a breath of fire. Spine is long, crown of the head pulls up, chin is slightly tucked back. Keep pumping that navel. Because we're moving the navel, this is also really good for your third chakra. Right, so your power center, good for your, um, the strength of your navel itself. You can always take a break and imagine yourself doing the posture. About 30 more seconds.
Okay, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, exhale, hold. You're gonna hold empty, squeeze in your root lock. your back molars. Let's do that again. Inhale, exhale, hold and squeeze. One more time. Inhale, exhale, Squeeze the molar, squeeze the body, hold the breath. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands, pause for a moment and notice how you feel. Okay, this time extending both arms straight out in front of you. Elbows are slightly bent and hands are slightly cupped. You'll tip your head back, let your mouth open, your jaw is relaxed, and again, you'll pump the navel, pumping the navel. Let me get the timer ready. Go ahead and begin. So it might sort of sound like a slight breath of fire out of the mouth. Trying to get movement in your body because your navel movement is so powerful. A little less than a minute left. Inhale, suspend the breath, squeeze the black back molars, hold. Exhale, two more times. Inhale, hold, squeeze.
One more time. Inhale, hold. Exhale, lower your hands, release your breath, relax and observe. Last little pose in this series. You'll inhale, opening your arms up like you're giving a hug. Hold the breath and crisscross the hands as fast as you can, alternating which arm is in front. When you need to exhale, do. Inhale, suspend and start again. Go ahead and begin. When you need to exhale, exhale, inhale, hold, and cross. Inhale, exhale, relax your arms, and just relax here for a moment. And for the sake of time, we're just going to have this be our meditation. So if you'd like, you can have your right hand stacked on top of left, thumb tips can touch, resting in your lap. Spine long, just observe the way you feel, notice your breath. Relax your body. As your mind wanders, just gently bring it back to the sensations in your body, to the feeling of your breath, drop down into your heart.
Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands up to prayer pose. Noticing the way you feel now. And from this same place where you drop down into your heart, we'll sing that closing blessing. Wishing well to all those who are suffering in the world in addition to the action that we, that we do. Inhale. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you guide you. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon Such short nom. Sad nom. May you find inner calm, may you find peace, may you find respite in the highest parts of who you are, and may that highest part of who you are serve to comfort and help those around you. Satnam. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a beautiful night. Feel free to message me with any questions.